Are you writing your personal statement? Here's 10 quick tips on what to include and what not to include when you write it. Tip one, length. You have 4,000 characters. That might sound like a lot, but it's only about a page. So use it wisely. Don't repeat any information and don't add any unnecessary details. Just focus on the things that make you an ideal candidate. Tip two, structure. It's good to use the essay structure you've learned in class. Dividing a statement into a clear introduction, main point and conclusion will enhance your clarity. Tip three, ensure that your language is appropriate and your grammar is correct because you wouldn't want your application for history of art and archeology span to be confined to history through silly spelling mistakes. Four, cliches and generalizations. The course you're applying for happens to be the passion or interest for about 99% of the other applicants. So this won't stand out. And if you're thinking about starting off with that philosophical quote, don't. Tip five, breadth and depth. It's good to decide beforehand which topics you want to include. So you can cover a range of experiences and also go into enough detail. Tip six, facts. Avoid just listing off facts in your personal statement. Chances are your admissions tutor has probably already heard them and they can make your application feel tedious. Tip seven, make everything as relevant as possible. As you're writing, ask yourself, so what? How do your work experience, hobbies, or even volunteering link back to the course you're applying for? Eight, show your interest in the field. Expand your knowledge through podcasts, reading, or online resources, and mention potential career plans. Tip nine, course and institution references. So us is a unique institution, and we'd love to hear why you'd be a perfect fit. But listing a specific institution name or course reference in your personal statement isn't a good move. Tip 10, be personal. This is your personal statement, nobody else's. So make sure it accurately reflects the type of person you are and your reasons for studying at SOAS. Hope you found those 10 top tips useful and good luck with the application.